we have x to the 5 halves over x to the 1 half minus 2. Now, recall what x to the 1 half is. It's actually just the square root of x. So what we have here is really the square root of x minus 2. And recall that if there's a radical in the denominator or a fractional exponent in the denominator, which is really the same thing, then it's not in simplest form. And in an earlier lesson, we talked about how if you have a radical in the denominator that's part of a binomial, you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate in order to eliminate that radical. So it's the same idea here, only we're working with it in this form, x to the 1 half minus 2. The conjugate is going to be x to the 1 half plus 2 which is the same as up here if I was, were to say that the conjugate would be the square root of x plus 2. Okay, same idea. So I need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that. And the reason that I have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator are because that way I'm really just multiplying by 1 which is allowable. So this is really just multiplying by 1. Okay, so using the distributive property in the top, x to the 5 halves times this first term, x to the 1 half, plus x to the 5 halves times 2. The denominator, what we can do is use the fact that when we're multiplying conjugates like this, x to the 1 half minus 2, x to the 1 half plus 2, it's multiplying a sum and a difference. So it's in this form. Here we have the difference first, so I'll write it that way. But you end up with something in this form, a squared minus b squared. In this case, here, a is equal to x to the 1 half, and b is equal to 2. Therefore, what I'm going to end up with is x to the 1 half squared, minus 2 squared. So I'm going to put that right down here. x to the 1 half squared minus 2 squared. Okay, since multiplying with like bases when you have an exponent just means to add the exponents, I'm going to do the same thing here. This really is just x to the 5 halves plus 1 half. So 5 halves plus 1 half is just going to give me 6 halves. Plus, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 times x to the 5 halves. I go to the denominator, and that's going to give me x to the 1 half squared. Well, using the rules, raising a power to a power, this is going to be x to the 1 half times 2, which is going to be x to the 2 divided by 2, or x to the first. So it's just x. 2 squared is 4. This is going to give me 6 divided by 2, which is x to the third, plus 2x to the 5 halves, divided by x minus 4. So still a pretty complicated looking expression. However, when I look, it's in simplified form. I no longer have a fractional exponent in the denominator. And in order to get rid of that, it's the same concept as getting rid of a radical in the denominator that's part of a binomial, because that's actually what I really have. It's just written with a different notation. So I multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. That got rid of this fractional exponent in the denominator, and then it just came down to doing some simplifying. That concludes this session of educator.com. Thanks for visiting.